This studio vlog is brought to you by our friends over at Skillshare. I'll be talking more about the classes that I'm taking this month, but without further ado, let's jump in.
Hey vlog, I feel like I look so crazy, so bear with me. But if you're new here, my name is Sheena and I'm an illustrator and content creator based in Brooklyn, New York. So what you actually saw just now was me having a call with Andrea. Every Wednesday we have a call where we just like vent and sync and talk about new ideas and things we want to work on. We bounce ideas off of each other. You guys know I've been doing these calls consistently, I want to say since December, and it's been so good for my mental health, especially as an artist. We're all like sitting at home working by ourselves it's just nice to have someone else there to like work with so while we were talking I was doing some more work on this illustration and sorry if there's a glare it's like I want to say golden hour like right now but I'm gonna keep working on this this is not like for any specific product or anything like that I mean it may turn into an art print who knows but I started this yesterday on an Instagram live and now I'm gonna finish it up today now I had a lot of people on the live yesterday asking me to finish the coloring portion on camera and so I'm considering like setting up my tripod arm and jumping back on live so for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram you're probably missing out because I show up a lot more on there it's just a lot easier for me to kind of pop in and do quick stories or quick lives um, that don't take a lot of work and it's usually like a top-down view so you can see what I'm drawing and all that good stuff but yeah that's what I'm working on um, beyond that I think once I wrap that up I have to do a quick meeting um, then I'm probably gonna work on restocking I've been running out of a lot of my die cut stickers so I'm gonna work on recutting those repackaging just to make my life a little bit easier um, on the back end and then behind me this stack you guys can kind of see in my kitchen are just some more shop supplies I got some more matte paper you guys know that I buy that from online labels I just love them I think I have some more canon ink and that box at the very bottom are just cookies blame Dustin but yeah that's all that's going on it's just been a very busy week I've had a lot going on um, and I'll also like update you guys on the apartment situation we're kind of going back and forth right now with the property management company so right now my setup process with my Etsy is very much in limbo so I'm trying to figure out like what next steps are so I can know whether or not I need to be packing again or if we need to kind of hang tight for the next handful of months but that is what I am doing um, I'm in much better spirits uh, this week I've just been really motivated I've been back in the gym um, getting up every day getting right to work and so it's a really good feeling to kind of feel back on track um, but if I look very tired today, it's just because I am. It's like 5 o'clock and I've been working and like cleaning up and organizing. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to hopping on live and just like chilling and doing some more artwork. So again, if y'all not follow me on there, it's She Meet City. It's the same as the name on this channel. And I guess I will be back later if I need to pack any orders or do anything like that. I'll jump back on camera. I just want to pop in and show face and let you guys know I'm alive. I'm still hustling, still working, and I appreciate y'all so much. So that's it and I'll be back later. Hey vlog. So as you all can tell, it is a new day. Your girl got on some more chill clothes and we are back at the office space getting some work done so right now i just finished sending promo codes out to all of my patrons basically one of the rewards that they receive in their tiers is 10 to 20 percent off anything in my store so i just sent that out for this month and now i gotta do some more work all right so we are back at the desk area i have my bullet journal out which kind of you know helps me plan out my day i had a lot of tasks that i had to kind of stop yesterday and transfer over to today because yesterday was just crazy we had a lot going on we're dealing with property management i am babysitting right now this is my niece harper it's my best friend's dog she's maybe about two or three years old and because he had to go to an event out of town um i am babysitting her so you guys can imagine like having one old dog easy peasy but having like a young puppy um who needs a lot of attention she's also house trained like i gotta you know take a little bit more time and give her the attention that she needs not to mention the both of them had accidents in the apartment yesterday around the same time so that's why you guys kind of saw me ending things abruptly but now she's a bit more acclimated she has stayed with us a few times it's just that every time you know it's a little bit different especially with dakota he's not used to having company so they have both learned how to live together we haven't had any accidents today which is great and i'm jumping back into work but you guys can say hello to harper she'll be back 
probably at another time. She's such a sweetie. And I feel like people always ask me her breed and I truly don't know. I think she's a multi-poo. Are you a multi-poo? She said yes. Okay, so yeah, I kind of cut all my tasks short yesterday. So today I'm just kind of playing catch up. You guys saw me working on that illustration. I have to go ahead and finish that up and get it on my Instagram because I haven't posted any new art in almost like four days. I'm also working on a new bookmark. Um, Cause I don't know about you guys, whenever I'm ordering um, from a manufacturer, I like to work smart and not hard. And I like for it to keep it inexpensive rather than double paying or overpaying. So usually when I'm ordering something new, like post cards or bookmarks I try to also make a new bookmark or have another product that I can have launched so that I'm only paying for shipping one time but just a little pro tip it may have you holding off on certain products for a bit longer but there's no point in paying for shipping for one batch of bookmarks that you have to restock and then paying for shipping again once you formulate a new bookmark so I'm gonna do them at the same time so the bookmark that I need to restock is actually this one it is the plant queen bookmark this one is super popular I probably ordered about 200 and now I'm down to like literally a handful of them so I gotta restock and so I figured if I'm going to restock this, I might as well make another bookmark and order them both at the same time. Um, I worked on this bit of artwork. I'll put a picture up somewhere and I named it like the readers of tomorrow, something like that, because I was definitely an avid reader as a kid and now I'm getting back into it. So I think I want to take this piece of artwork and make it into a bookmark. Now, from time to time, I get people messaging me on Etsy saying like, hey, can you turn this sticker pack into a bookmark and I'm like it's not that easy like I literally have to deconstruct the artwork and you know formulate it to fit on something that's two by six so it's not a super easy process that's why you don't see me doing that with all of my artwork and I don't necessarily want all of my artwork to be bookmarks so the reader one just seems super appropriate so that's the one that I'm going to try to get done today after I finish the illustration that I'm working on and run through some emails. So I'm going to actually get you all set up on this overhead tripod that I have. You can kind of see it attached here. I mentioned in the last vlog that Dustin kind of customized this for me. So now I can do a lot more flat layer overhead drawing pieces. So I'm gonna set you guys up, finish out this illustration that I am doing, and then we'll hop on to the next task in just a minute. So before we jump into this time lapse, I want to take a moment to thank our video sponsor and friend over at Skillshare. So if for some reason you've been living under a rock or maybe you're newer to this channel, Skillshare is an online learning community with tens of thousands of classes made to specifically unlock the creative in all of us. One thing I really love about the platform is that you are not tied down to one class or one teacher. You're able to kind of jump around and get a little bit from everyone. Now you all know I'm an illustrator. So of course, I like to dip into the classes that have to do with character design, illustration, especially digital art. But recently, I've taken a liking into following teachers who do something a little bit different than I do, basically stepping outside of digital art. So I recently have started this class by Helene Baum. I think that's how you say her name and I just love her art and in this class she is going to teach us how to basically create whimsical characters and I'll mention later on this video but I'm trying to work more on character design like that is my career path and Skillshare is definitely helping me to get there. And as an entrepreneur, someone who does juggle many things and wear multiple hats, while I do take my learning very seriously, I also don't have time to sit through super long classes. And one of my favorite parts about the platform is that most classes come in under 60 minutes, so you're able to get the most bang for your buck. And speaking of buck, they're also super affordable. With an annual subscription that is less than $10 a month, you all cannot beat that. So if you'd like to check out any of the classes that you've seen so far, or even check out the class that I'm currently taking. Our friends over at Skillshare were kind enough to partner with me to give the first 1,000 subscribers an opportunity to check out Skillshare Premium for themselves. So again, it's only the first 1,000 subscribers, but if you click that unique link below, you are not only supporting this channel in future studio vlogs, but you're also able to explore and tap into the creative in you. So once again, that link will be below to join millions of creatives learning on Skillshare today.
all right guys so i've basically finished up the piece with this character here um as most of you all know i've been working a lot more on really fleshing out characters and like really trying to give um my pieces a bit more personality like i want these characters that I create to come off as like real people like people you would see out in the world and you know as we all know women especially black women we are not a monolith we come in all different shapes sizes creeds backgrounds and so I don't know about you all but I definitely had like an Avril Lavigne like skater phase and so I came up with this like roller derby babe and I just love that like her hair is super like out there she has piercings just like the whole vibe the wristband you all know what's up if you were a skater you had a wristband like I just love this whole look and so I was on live and I asked um, everyone in the audience what they would like to name her we had about five or six different name recommendations and I ended up settling with star because I just like that name I think it's so cute and she also has like stars flowing behind her she has this star like sticker print on her face so I don't know it just works and I really like it um, so she is going to be like a badass like roller derby babe and I hope to like recreate her in other instances because of course with character design you want to see your characters in multiple different ways um, position settings so I think in the next one I want to get her like doing a skateboard trick or something like that I think that would be so dope so of course not everyone wants to be a character designer everyone you know goes a different path when it comes to doing artwork and illustration but this is where I'm headed so again this is a new character that I created her name is star and yeah I'm really looking forward to doing the next piece with her in it and for now I think I'm done like refining and touching up I mean she's pretty much done I don't know how much more detailing I can do before it becomes like just super tedious so I am done with this for now I'm gonna set it to the side and I'm gonna move on to working on that bookmark that I told you all about now when it comes to the bookmark like I mentioned um, I do reuse art from time to time to create multiple products so as you all can see here like I had the plant queen artwork this is actually an art print that I have in my shop and because so many people love this illustration including myself that is when I made like the matching bookmark to go with the art print so as you all can see it's very close to the original piece there's not much that has changed but I did have to move a few elements around to really squish them into the frame so with the new bookmark that I'm doing it's going to be of this character that I created she does not have a name yet but you know obviously she's heavily inspired by you know younger Sheena but I want to get her onto a bookmark and so what I'm actually going to do is remove the background or just hide the background for now I'm also going to hide any like decorative things that I did. Okay, that's gone. Okay, nice clean background. So we're going to take this PNG and we're going to export it and then I will use that to make the new bookmark. So I'm going to save that image. Now the average bookmark is two by six and you all see that I have that saved here. But over time I've learned that, you know, bleed lines are super important. If you don't do that, then you'll end up getting part of your image cut off that you weren't expecting. So instead of going back to that and doing a bunch of tweaks in Photoshop later on, I'm actually going to set my dimensions to 2.5 by 2.5 inches. Sorry, you guys. By... 6.5 inches so that gives me a little bit of bleed all around now the average bleed in the industry is about 0.25 I do 0.5 because I really want to give myself some space to work and not have too much of my image cut in so 600 dpi that's standard and the color profile is of course going to be cmyk because we are going to be printing this artwork so I'm going to go ahead and create that and there it is 2.5 by 6.5 so I'm going to go ahead find that picture that I had and there's my reader right so one thing about taking the image from a much larger canvas and bringing it down to something like 2.6 is you're going to get a very sharp image a lot of customers are always super surprised when they get the product and it's super sharp but that is why because I'm actually pulling these elements from a much bigger canvas and kind of shrinking them down so here is my reader and what I'm going to do is just get her aligned now as you can see like she is not a big enough image to take up the whole bookmark and we don't want to like stretch her all the way out like this because it's just going to look weird and you're going to cut off the image so what i'm going to do keeping in mind that there is going to be a cut right we have bleed lines can go ahead 
and just make her a bit smaller now a tip that I used to do when I was first starting out with making bookmarks postcards and products that required bleed is I would download the template from the manufacturer's website and use that template to create the product but because I've done this a few times before I kind of am used to uh, working like this and then bringing it into Photoshop where I actually do apply the template so that's why you see me doing that but if this is like your first time um, making a product and figuring out bleeds I highly recommend um, going to the manufacturer site and finding their template and using it because you can't go wrong so I'm now using the snapping tool to make sure that she is centered gonna make it a tiny bit smaller again to avoid those cut lines and here I am so there is the bookmark there's the reader and then this is what it's going to fully look like and of course we're doing one side and then the second side I will do now with my bookmark style I don't know about everyone else I don't really care to print the same image on front and back so what I normally do is do the big vibrant image on the front and then on the back a very simplified design that still goes with the theme so with the plant queen you see the plant she's watering thriving and then on the back you just see a couple of leaves some banana leaf and things like that so that's what I do and then as always I make sure to put my BK post logo and website on there because you never know someone could gift this to someone and they can really love the product but you don't have your business anywhere on there which is a total loss right so I always put the name of the business on there but I try not to be like overzealous so that's what we got I'm gonna go ahead again and start editing this I don't know where I'm going with this I'm kind of playing it by ear so you all will kind of see me make up stuff as I go she is floating like in the middle of nowhere so I'm thinking that I want to do either a quote up here and then maybe like a blue let me see like a take on a blue background to make it seem like you know she's just floating in space because I don't know about you all but when I used to read I would really get lost in the books that I read like almost become part of that world that the author would try to create and so that's the same type of vibe that I want to do here like she is literally in her own world which is the book that she's reading so this is it with like a blue background I'm gonna see how I feel about that but I'm thinking if I do blue and then I can maybe draw some more um, clouds in here maybe that's how I can tie everything together so like if I do like you know a couple of offset clouds like this so this is exactly why um, a lot of illustrators cannot just take a fully done image and just make it into a postcard or make it into a bookmark because you have to make it cohesive you have to start moving things around add different color backgrounds to really make it look purposeful so I'm going to work on this and then I will let you all see like what end product I come up with wish me luck Alright guys, so this is basically what I came up with. Like I just added a few more clouds, um, shaded them in, and then also did a bit of a like stippling texture that's probably really hard to see on camera, but it's a little bit of like a stippling texture that I do with like all of my artwork, and I think this is ready to go. Now it is a lot more simple than like the Plant Queen bookmark, but not every bookmark needs to be super busy. I'm learning to just let things be minimal when they need to be. So what I'm gonna actually do is airdrop this from my iPad to my iMac because I actually prefer to use Photoshop for text not to mention I pay for Adobe fonts which are fonts that are safe to use for commercial use and I prefer to use those than any of the random ones in Procreate so I'm going to airdrop this now get to work in Photoshop but keep in mind you don't have to use Photoshop it's always a preference thing so I'm gonna hop on here um, get to work and then once the front side is to my liking I'll start working on the back but see not too much of a difficult process we're already halfway there All 
All right, guys, so I am back at the desk. Um, I've been spending way too long on this. I even took a lunch break because it was frustrating me, but my workflow just really slowed down because my iMac is having a lot of problems lately with the graphics card, so it can't even handle the newest version of Photoshop, which is really annoying, so I had to move everything to my MacBook Air. Like, thank God for a backup computer. So I finish up the front and the back, and I think I like it. I think it's pretty cute, and it says, your next adventure is just a page away. There goes my little reader and then I just added those clouds just to kind of fill everything out and then the back is basically just the clouds you guys know I like to keep it simple and then I just have my logo and website down there so as you guys can see it's very similar to the plant queen with just the logo and website at the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and export these just do a final QA and then try to get them submitted as soon as possible um, like I mentioned because I already have these that need a restock I'm gonna order both bookmarks at the same time so I can save on shipping but I have really lost a lot of time just like kind of eating and watching YouTube videos and then getting stuck with the iMac so I'm actually behind schedule and I only have an hour and a half left until my therapy session and pretty much the end of my day so I'm going to try to wrap this up as soon as possible and then move on to the rest of the tasks that I have to do but today is definitely a slower day like I have a headache I'm not feeling like myself, but we will push through. So I'll be back when I'm doing something else, but yeah, bookmark is complete. All right, guys, I am back looking crazy as ever, but I've just been like working my ass off. Um, I just had my therapy appointment and went really well. Um, sorry, Harper's down here tap dancing away but I actually ended up doing a second bookmark I know I don't know why I decided to be so ambitious it actually took me more time than I would like it to but I really like how it came out I'm going to show you guys both of the designs and then I'm probably going to call it a night because I still need to post my art to Instagram and then wrap up a few more emails but again I'm really proud of them so I'm going to wrap them up send them to the manufacturer and then hopefully in the next vlog you guys can see when I get them in the mail and I cannot wait because I feel like I've been dying to have some new bookmarks come out and now is finally the time so let me show you. I've been having a lot of people request that I turn this design into a bookmark so I'm finally doing that okay don't come for me I know it's taken forever and as you can see there's a lot of head space up here and what I plan to do with that is actually do um, drill holes so I can put tassels on them so I basically resized the artwork just a little bit I also shifted the shelves over in procreate and then this is what the front looks like and then for the back you know I like to do a little design or something like that so I actually came up with this so this is what the back is looking like I like this little print I think it's so cute and of course I just color picked from the image on the front I have my logo my website and that's basically it so that's the back and that's the front and I'm gonna have a drill hole up here so I'm really excited like I said I have to get these turned in to the manufacturer as soon as possible so I can hopefully have them launch in the shop this month I've just been dying to get some new product out I've really been like slacking so hopefully this helps out all right guys so that is basically it you saw the bookmarks I'm gonna go ahead and get them submitted hopefully I don't have any problems with the bleed lines and I'm probably gonna call it a night I'm gonna post that art to Instagram of course see how everyone's feeling about it and then I'll probably just do a little sketching maybe work on the children's book a little bit and just like chill out I've just had a really long day so that's where we're at um, also look at this super cute thing uh, that my best friend got me if you can't tell already this is Basquiat the artist rest in peace to him one of our greats but it's actually a bookmark like you can take him out like how freaking adorable is this and to be honest I would love to do something like this but with copyright like I just can't get caught up at all because um, we have to remember that when you see things like this they usually paid a licensing rate or licensing fee to be able to put someone's likeness on a product so yeah really cute I want to do something like this but I just don't want to get caught up with like Etsy copyrights but it's a bookmark and then inside it's actually a notepad so super adorable I just love the way this looks like even if I don't end up using like a celebrity or well-known person I think I would like to still do something like this because I like the two-in-one aspect of it just really cool 
so that's basically it just want to show y'all how cute that was and i'm basically done i wish like the vlogs were more interesting and you guys can see a lot going on but to be honest it's just a very like weird season for a lot of us and i'm just trying to get as much work done as i possibly can so i can end q1 strong um right now i am working on the children's book i am relaunching my shop i'm trying to get my website done by the end of march um i also have to do like a little speaking engagement for a school um over zoom with some art students <laughs> really looking forward to that and then of course i still have like all my sponsorship work that i have to do so i am stacked and I just need to do better with time management so I can come on here and show you guys some interesting stuff. But this is just life, you know, being an illustrator, working for yourself. Some days are really exciting and you get a ton of stuff done. And then some days are like today where it's like you're productive, but things are kind of off. <laughs> like, I wish I could explain it to you guys, but I'm just like, I am tired. My eyeballs are tired. Um, I was just telling my therapist, like, my eyes are just like... <sighs> they hate me and I know everyone is like blue light glasses like yeah I know I own them it doesn't change the fact that you're sitting in front of a computer for like 10 hours a day and if not a computer an iPad so my eyes are exhausted okay so we're going to close the old laptop um and wrap things up and all as always like I will catch up with you guys when something is happening um actually as a matter of fact I got some shipments why not open them on camera let me show you guys really fast okay so this first one I think it's just ink yeah ink so I like to stay up on the canon ink because like my art prints are the main drivers in my shop like when we talk about margin and having high margins they're my art prints and so there's no way that i can run out of ink so i bought a box probably like last month and i just read up again and i know they make alternatives they make generic brands but i just like buying the canon because i don't have time for any problems to be honest with you like i feel like with my life like if it can go wrong it will so i'll just stick to what i know and to be honest with you like with the price point of my prints once I sell like about two or three prints, the ink is paid for. So I don't really um, nickel and dime when it comes to this. I just buy the value pack and it lasts me a while. Okay, we got something else here. I just literally did a, just a bulk order for the shop. So I don't even know what all this stuff is. Um, what's this? Oh, tissue paper. So you all know I had that really nice decorative tissue paper from No Issue. And while I loved it, I want to make a new design. And I just have not been inspired or really know like what elements should be on it. Like I like the last design, but I don't feel like reordering it in like 200, 300 quantity because I, I know myself and I'm going to change my mind on what I like. And again, I am going through like a shop update and revamp. Like even the banner on my Etsy is super old. And so I just want everything updated. And that includes my tissue paper. So for now, I just buy white tissue paper off Amazon. I buy them in, you know, super large pieces. And then I cut them. To me, that's the most like economically friendly way to do it. Um, they're also acid free. And if I can get recycled paper, I do. So I try to do the most I can to like, you know, take care of our planet. But right now, I'm just using plain tissue paper. So if you get an order from me and you're like, where's the super pretty paper? Sorry to disappoint. Um, I'm still trying to come up with a design. And to be honest, I need to figure out like what my overall brand colors are. And I haven't really done that either. So just bear with me. You'll still get a super pretty thank you sticker, a thank you card. Like all of that is still the same. It's just the tissue paper. Finally, I don't even have to open it because you guys can see right here on the name. I got some more paper from online labels. No, this is not free. I paid for it. Um, like I really always do and you all know how I feel about online labels it's my favorite paper it never does me wrong I've been using it since I've opened my shop it's affordable especially if you buy in larger quantities so I saw that I was running a little bit low on my matte paper so I actually bought the 250 pack you can get them through online labels or also on Amazon so I went ahead and re-up because you cannot run out of sticker paper like I had this fear of running out of supplies and not being able to ship my client stuff on time or my customer stuff on time so I like to stock up y'all like I never want it to be a problem where I go online it's like sold out of Canon ink and I'm like so what does one do like how does how does one print so 
that's what I'm doing. So I got my paper, I got my ink, I got my tissue paper. I basically set for a while. Um, and as always, if you guys want to know exactly what kind I use, exactly what ink I use, I always have it linked in my description box. A lot of people tell me they don't see it, but I have literally a link that says everything else. And then there's a link and what that will do is take you to my Amazon storefront where I literally list everything. I list my hole punch, my paper cutter, sticker paper, tissue paper, cello bags, everything. So be sure to always check there if you're ever curious about what I use in my shop and I try to update it as much as possible. That's it, all right? That's it. I have nothing else to give right now, I'm done. So thank you all so much. I'm gonna clean up and if I don't, have anything else coming up this may be the end of the video so thank you so much for watching i'm really sorry the vlogs have been like really slow and possibly boring lately but i promise once i start getting stuff in the mail and i start restocking and i do my website hopefully it can be a lot more exciting for you all um and if it's not the last part of this vlog then i'll see you in the next clip but either way thank you so so much for watching i really really appreciate you guys be sure to leave any questions you have below for me and i will see you next time whatever that is <laughs> bye guys